everyone, John here again. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Tommy Emmanuel tune, the Easy Blues, uh, I think he calls it. And it's a good one if you're just kind of beginning with this Travis picking style because it's got some syncopation in there. It's got a little bend in here and it's only using three chords, uh, E, E7, A7 and B7. So uh, let's, let's get on with it and I'll show you how it goes. So now, as I mentioned, the chords of this are really easy, just E7, A7, and B7. So now, what have we got going on in this piece? Well, of course, we've got this Travis picking thing going on uh, on the E chord. So, so that's E, the D, and the G together, if you can, and then the A, and the D, and the G. So you've got this. That's for the E. Now for the A, uh, we do kind of the opposite way around because we hit the A first, and then the D and the G, then the E. All right, so you've got that. Let me just play those two. Now, when we go to the B7, You're alternating that second finger uh, to the uh, from the second fret of the A to the second fret of the E. All right, so you got that. Now the other thing I should point out is, can you hear that this is muted? That it's not this. Although you can start like that if you want to, because that's probably the easier way to do it. I find it harder to do it like this actually. But anyway, so you've got this, uh, so have a listen to the difference. All right, so that's, that's the bass line. Now, the problem is we've got the melody going on at the same time, which is on the E. So uh, let me just play the melody separately. All right, so you've got that. That's the G note, third fret on the high E, pull off to open E, hammer on, open B to the second fret, and then another E note again. For the A7, it's exactly the same. For the B, Now here you do you're doing that pull off again. Then you're going to bend this note. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Upper semitone to this fourth fret, D sharp. Open B, D again, third fret, and then open E. All right. So now what we've got to do is we've got to try and add that to this. This is where it's getting slightly more difficult. Okay, so uh, what am I doing there? Well, you, if I break this down a bit, you're hitting the low E, then the pull off. And then straight after that, you've got the D and the G. And then the hammer on, then the bass. That's probably the hardest bit. When you're coming down, doing the hammer on, you're also hitting that, that uh, second bass note there. So, now if I move to A7, all right, so there, the same melody, but the second time you're hitting the open E string. All right. I think what what Tommy actually does, I've left I've left the bass line kind of open. There. I'm doing this. Okay, I leave that one open. But when Tommy plays it, he goes. So he does it. He does that twice. All right. Now that's the E and the A. So the trickiest bit is the B seven. Mm -hmm. 
So you've got that B7, do the pull off, then the open B. Now, when you go with up here to that F sharp bass note on the second fret, that's when you do the bend. Let it down, pick the D and the G. Then an open E, and then you're back into the E. So that, that's a little bit tricky, that bit. All right, so. That's all the parts. So then what you just got to do is, is work on each part slowly. All right, there we go. I um, hope uh, that wasn't too bad. As Tommy says, and as I say in this video, you just have to do this style very slowly. Each bar, just do it bit by bit. That's how I, I, I got it, you know, do it, do it slow and then see if you can put it together at the end. But if you've got any questions, let me know on the, um, what's the word for it? Oh, comments below, yes, let me know. And um, remember to subscribe if you can, and I shall see you on the next video. You might as well bring it.